Hi everybody. In today's short video I'm going to show you how to turn all the lights on and off in iClone using Python. I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is my little shoe warehouse I've created. I'm going to just load my Python script I called Light Controller and I've got the link to this in the video description. I'll just go ahead and run it and I will explain my scene has 54 spotlights 540 point lights and four directional lights so that's probably more lights than the average scene let me just show you that went away and I don't know why it goes away sometimes but here's everything it created just to kind of give you the summary now the reason it has so many lights I'll just show you really quickly if I select light circle let me just show you oops circle and I'll just go to one of them, doesn't matter which one. Let me go to my preview camera so I don't mess things up. Okay, and I'll just show you, I'll turn one on. Each of my shoes, it was kind of dark in my room, so in each shoe I had this little torus here with five uh, point lights I attached to it just so I could kind of light my scene up and kind of do it kind of evenly. I'll turn that back off. So, okay, so now I'll go over the code really quickly if you want to see how I did this. So let me just go to, this is uh, Visual Studio. And as I mentioned, the, the link is in the video description. And here, I'll start at the very bottom. It's not that much code that does this whole thing. The very bottom just creates the little UI widget and it creates the text editor. Here's, here's our two buttons for turn on button and turn off button. And they each have a method for their event. And those methods are up here. And I'll show you the to turn on first. The only difference is set active true for turning it on and set active false for turning it off. And here I do the spotlights and it also does it by name so you'll notice in my scene when I turn the lights off let me go to my light box and sorry I'm kinda jumping around I just wanted to make this video really quickly got some work to do but let me, uh, let me turn all the lights off quickly and uh, there's four spotlights around this little light box called sign spotlights and because they're not named the same thing as the other spotlights that are just called spotlight it doesn't turn those off or the same with the directional lights and we have point lights so here's the so my sign point point lights are not named point light they're named sign point light so even though it's the same object type you have to pass in the name and the type or you can just pass in the generic light that I do here. And this is the turn off code. So it's, as I mentioned, set active as false. So that's all there is to it, but I thought that was pretty interesting to be able to turn all the uh, lights on and off in a scene. You know, there's uh, the one thing, the downside to this is I wish you could animate this, but I tried like going to 600, you know, frame 600 on the timeline and turning all the lights off. But if you do that, then you go to frame one, the lights are off on frame one also. So it's not something that can you can set a keyframe to that I know of. Maybe somebody else knows how to do it. But it's still pretty neat to me to be able to turn all the lights on and off because I have a lot of scenes that I would like to be completely uh, dark. And one of the few things to mention just how I get a scene dark, maybe other people know different ways, but I just go to visual settings and make sure my image based lighting is turned off turned off and also make sure that none of your props have self illumination because they will glow in the dark if they do and then also on uh, global illumination I just make sure it's turned off as far as you can you know a black image and turned all the way down so that's my short video let me know if you find that interesting alright have a great day